Voice Detect software has improved dramatically over the past decade. More importantly, if you have access to Microsoft Word or Google Docs, you can use Speech Detect software at no cost. If you're on Microsoft Word, all you need to do is take your mouse and go over to the Voice section and click on Dictate. Here you can see that you can simply talk into the microphone at a normal conversation pace and it does a very good job of picking up all that you're saying out loud. However, you'll notice that it lacks one particular aspect, which is grammar or punctuation. So I just stopped the recording and you'll see that there's no commas or periods or anything like that. It does a pretty good job with developing contractions, but overall, this is pretty impressive. If I want to do punctuation, what I need to do is I need to actually say the word out loud. So if I want a period, I need to say period. If I want a comma, I need to say comma. If I want a new paragraph, I have to say a new paragraph. I have to be very literal. So we're going to start the recording again. When you want to have punctuation, comma, you need to actually say the word, period. This can be a little bit slow, comma, but this is the current effective method to actually put in punctuation, period. Isn't it exciting, question mark? All right, I can stop the recording. You can also put in the enable auto punctuation which is pretty accurate. However, it's not 100% accurate. I still prefer putting in the punctuation manually, but you'll see what I mean. It's not 100% there. So we're gonna turn on the recording. And you can see that the recording does a good job adding in the grammar when everything is all said and done. However, not all the punctuation will be present and it's a little bit iffy whether it's working or not. New line. See right there, I tried to say the word new line and it didn't actually make a new paragraph. Okay, so you can see that this was the enable auto punctuation. It's doing okay. That's why I would recommend that you put it in manually. As you can see, I also tried to add in new features like indent or new paragraph or new line. And those honestly are about a 50-50 shot. Generally, the technology has improved dramatically since its inception, but it's still not quite there yet. So if you have the ability to talk out your thoughts and then go back and touch up the grammar using a, a mouse or a keyboard later, that is probably the best option. This is not perfect when you're trying to fix all of the nitty gritty details. If you're using Google Docs, you can also use a speech to text built in program. To access this, we're going to take our mouse and we're going to head over to tools. From there, we're going to click on voice typing. Now we have to click on the microphone and now we can start talking and we can do speech to text software, period. Just like in the Microsoft Word version, comma, you'll see that I need to put in the commas manually, period. However, you'll notice that it doesn't do a great job with auto capitalizing, comma, which can be a problem in this context. New paragraph, new line. Like I mentioned in the Microsoft Word bit, that it doesn't always do a good job denoting a new paragraph or a new line. This is really good if you want to write down all your thoughts, but if you want to 100% edit your material using either option, whether it's Microsoft Word or Google Docs with their microphone action, uh, it's not the best recommendation at the time. It may improve, but I find that trying to edit everything by your voice does have a couple drawbacks.